Hey, welcome back to Cottage Tech. You know, it's winter up here at the cottage, and that only means one thing. Bonfire season. Now, you know, once you build yourself a nice bonfire, it's only a matter of time people come out of the woodwork to sit around it and hang out. It's only a matter of time. Someone pulls out one of these, and they start playing something tuneful. Next thing you know, the local hippie beatnik shows up, with his bongo drums, he starts to fill in the rhythm. Once that happens, it's only a matter of time, someone pulls out the old acoustic guitar, starts playing tunes. Cat Stevens, Harry Chapin's Cats in the Cradle, heaven forbid, Kumbaya, Lord. Everybody starts singing along, it's like 3D karaoke. But you know, here at Cottage Tech, you know we like to do things different, you know we like to take it to the next level. That's why I picked up this here clear acrylic body Galveston electric guitar. This is going to get us heard. With this, we should be able to be heard all over the lake. In fact, I'm thinking a full Marshall stack out on the dock, maybe a PV Classic 30 on the beach. That's going to get us heard all over the lake. But you know, what's the use of being heard if you can't be seen? It gets dark pretty early up here at the cottage this time of year. And that bonfire is not going to put on an awful lot of light for too long. So, I think we got to do something so that we can be seen all over the lake as well as heard. I got a few ideas of what I can do to this clear acrylic body guitar that's going to help make that happen. I think it's time for a cottage creation. In fact, a little smoke on the water maybe? We got a bonfire going. Why not? In fact, it looks like it's ice fishing season out there too. Okay, welcome back to the Cottage Tech Workbench. We're working on a slightly different bench today. Um, okay, so here we have our here we have our victim, our uh, our project base. This is our clear solid, clear uh, acrylic body electric guitar. A few things have already been done to this guitar. First off, the pickups they've been replaced with double humbuckers. That's going to give us a nice, clean, crisp sound and good sustain. If we want dirty, filthy stuff, you know, we can get that with the pedals. This way we're going to get a real nice, crisp, clean sort of sound when we want it. Uh, they're really good pickups, they're well known. The other thing that's been done is these, uh, these tuning heads, uh, the machine heads, they've been uh, also replaced, they've been upgraded with Grover Deluxe. They're, I believe, they're 135 series, uh, classics. They've got the nice antique looking handles. Uh, they're pretty common for putting on really nice vintage guitars. They're a lot like the, they're like the kind of the Rotolocks, which are really popular. Um, uh, they're, they're, they're good tuning heads. They're going to keep this bad boy in tune because the last thing we want is a tune drifting right in the middle of a really awesome riff on stage. So uh, these upgraded uh, tuning heads are going to keep it in tune. That and the pickups, uh, we're going to have some awesome sound. Now, that's, that's what we're going to do for that. That's what's done been done for the sound. Now, here's what we're going to actually do for the guitar. We're going to put in some toys. First thing we're going to do is, we've got a 9 volt battery here. This is what's going to power all the magic. All this stuff is going to get installed in the cavity here behind where all the controls are, where the, the volume and tone controls and everything are. Uh, there's enough room in there, just barely, for me to squeeze everything in. So one thing we're going to put in there is this 9 volt battery. And this is probably going to last like an entire weekend, maybe even longer. I haven't done a time trial, but it should last as well. That's what's going to power everything. I'm going to put two circuits inside this thing. First one I'm going to put in, this one's still on the breadboard because I've been playing with it. i got to work out uh, resistance values for voltages and that. So what I've got is I've right here, so far here I've got four water clear blue LEDs uh, and a resistor and a 9 volt battery. So when we turn the power on this, these resistors light up and or these LEDs light up and we're going to have a nice bright crisp uh, sparkly blue light lighting up the entire body of the guitar. On a, on a, on a dimly lit stage this thing's going to glow a nice bright crisp sparkly uh, blue color uh, off in the background. So that's the one circuit we're going to put in. Now we're going to spread these LEDs, we're going to put them behind the, each of the pickups, also down behind the control area of the guitar, so the whole body is going to glow uh, a nice blue color. That's the one we're going to do. The other one we're going to do is, and I've already built the circuit ahead of time, because I wanted to, it took some trial and error to get it to work. So basically there's a circuit board, it's a, it's a three channel chaser. So the circuit board with three transistors, uh, some caps, and some resistors, um, and basically what happens is, when you put the power to it, I've got uh, three pairs of, again, water clear LEDs. I've got blue, green, and red LEDs. And uh, when you put the power to it, 
it's going to chase through the three colors. And what we'll do is we'll put these three colors in behind, uh, we'll put maybe the, you know, like the, the red, the green, and the blue. We'll put one color behind one pickup, another color behind another, another one down in the control area. So it'll oscillate through the colors uh, when we turn this one on. And it's pretty straightforward. It is just basically um, some water clear LEDs on a wire. I've intentionally left these wires really long so that I can pull them through the guitar. And, uh, and there's a small circuit board and the small circuit board will get mounted inside the guitar in that area behind the uh, behind all the controls. There is room for it in there. By the way, I'll put schematics for this board uh, up on the website so you can uh, you can uh, you can wire up and build your own if you want to. Uh, pretty straightforward. So we're going to get these LEDs in behind the pickups. We've got to string all the wire through the wire channels where the pickups are wired through and get everything put in behind those controls and figure things out a little bit. So. Um, I guess first thing we've got to do is we've got to get the strings loosened up or off and uh, get the pickups out and get started. So let's see what we can do. This should be fun. Okay, here we are. As you can see, it's all put back together again. We've got the, uh, we've got the pickups in, we've got the strings on, and everything's wired up. Now if you see in behind the control panel, you can actually see if I get down close here, you can actually see the Duracell battery in behind there. That's all inside that void. There's a 9-volt Duracell battery in there. And there's also my circuit board back there in the uh, in the gray shrink wrap. And of course, here's the switch that I added that makes all the magic happen. And all that squeezed into the void. There's a lot of white wires in there too. I tried to use some white so it wouldn't be quite as obvious. Um, but that's inevitable. There's a, there's a fair bit of stuff in there. There's uh, two pairs of LEDs inside this void. A pair of blue ones for the solid blue. And another pair of, I think, green ones for the chaser. And if I flip the guitar over, we'll be able to see on the back side... If we look inside this void, you'll see that there's two pairs of LEDs in here. There's a pair of blue ones for solid blue and another pair of color ones for the chaser. So I've got two pairs of LEDs in here all wired together. And then they run down. I've got another two pairs of LEDs back here all wired together. And they run down through this chase in behind this cover, which is where all the controls are. And uh, so everything's wired up and everything's ready to go. And if we flip it over, uh, we can see if we put the switch on, there's our... There's our chaser, and if we flip the switch the other way, we have a solid blue. Now obviously it doesn't look that spectacular here because there's an awful lot of light. I'm sure once we get the lights turned out and we get an inv out in an environment where it's on stage or something like that, I'm sure it'll look a lot more dynamic. So the next step will be to, uh, let me flip that back to chaser, the next step will be um, to get this bad boy plugged into an amp, uh, preferably that uh, that Marshall stack on the dock, and we'll uh, we'll see if we can be heard all and seen all over the lake. This should be fun. As you can see, that looks pretty trick. And if we flip the switch to the chasers, that should look kind of impressive on stage. This should be fun. 